You guys, both of my kids are in school this morning. It has been a week and a half in my world of everybody at home because, I mean, we had just everything. Everybody was sick forever. So both of my kids are in school. We're gonna deep condition today. I am so excited. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, okay, here are my ingredients. I'm very excited for this reason. I just got this. This is called a Hothead and it's by uh, Thermal Hair Care, if you can see that. And I haven't used it yet. So this is a buckwheat filled cap, buckwheat seed filled cap. And so you pop this in the microwave and heat it up. And I don't know if you're familiar with the brand Bucky. I'll show you one of those. So this is a Bucky, um, as you can see on the tag. Bucky and um, it's something that you put in the microwave and heat up and you can like use it if you've got a stomach ache or if your back hurts or your shoulder hurts or something you just oh my gosh in the winter time you can tuck your hands inside them I love these things but this is the same concept because it's filled with buckwheat seeds so when you pop this in the microwave and heat it up it creates a nice like damp heat it's just wonderful it's not dry it's delightful so when I saw and I love these and my mom has about 15 of these because we are people who are always cold. So my mom has a ton of these and this is actually my husband's. And um, so when I saw that the um, hot heads were filled with buckwheat seeds, I thought, well, that's perfect for deep conditioning because A, it should speed my deep conditioning time because normally I leave on my conditioner for about an hour. This, I can leave it on for about 20 minutes because since the heat opens the hair shaft, the conditioner and water and everything you want to get under there should get into your hair shaft a lot quicker than leaving it just sitting on your hair with a cap on your head. So um, I'm going to pop this in the microwave for a couple minutes at a time, one a minute at a time, um, and I'll show you how I use it. And underneath that, I'm going to be using my Curl Rehab. This is my favorite deep conditioner that I talk about in, I don't know, every video that I've ever put together. Now underneath this, I'm gonna be using a plastic shower cap because this is reversible. It's terry cloth on the inside and prettiness on the outside. But I don't wanna get this all yucky. So this is gonna go on my head underneath and I'll be back shortly to show you exactly how it works. All right guys, here we are. I have put in my deep conditioner and I have my uh, disposable-ish shower cap on my head and I also like to put a towel, um, a towel around my neck. And just so you can see, I have it in and I have a clip in my hair. I know a lot of people will just use a deep conditioner in the shower and then rinse it out. Um, I tried that and it just didn't work for me. It's like my hair got halfway conditioned. So anyway, so now we're here in my kitchen and I've got my hot head and it's time to pop it into the microwave. So let's do that. All right, let's see if I can get this to work for me here. Da, 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 da. Bop, bop. Here we go. Okay, here you go. 30 seconds into the microwave. Ooh, feels good. Okay, this feels pretty awesome. My microwave was pretty clean to begin with, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this on. Don't I look purty? Oh, it feels so good. I may not say that in the summertime in Texas when it's 100 degrees outside, but for right now, since it's in the 40s outside, this feels pretty amazing. All right. Setting my timer for 20 minutes. See you in a few. I ended up heating this up for a minute and a half. I did it three times in 30 second increments. So I did it once with the elastic facing up and then 30 seconds on high with the elastic facing down and then 30 seconds on high with the elastic facing up again. And that seems honestly to be perfect. So this is the first time I've used it. So this is all an experimentation. Let's, let's see if it works out well and if it cuts my deep conditioning time like I wanted it to. How do I look? Do I look good? Do I look silly? Oh, this person that I follow on Instagram, her name is Def Curls. She's hilarious, but she took her dog for a walk while she was deep conditioning and I just, maybe I'm too vain for that. I don't think I could walk outside. I mean, my, in my backyard is one thing, but whatever. But I don't think I could walk out with this on my head, but I do feel cute. It is pretty. This was a pattern that they did for Valentine's Day and um, I think it's called Vintage Rose. So. I really like it. I think it's really cute. So I've got this on my head and it'll be on here for about the next 20 minutes and then we'll rinse it out and hopefully it has done the job. And 
you know, I know you're thinking deep conditioning is deep conditioning, but for me, I learned a few things early on in my curly girl journey about deep conditioning. Number one, I could not use deep conditioners that had shea butter as an ingredient that was pretty close to the top. I believe that the Curl Junkie Curl Rehab Conditioner that I'm using has shea butter as like maybe the fifth or sixth ingredient, and that seems to be okay for whatever reason. But when I tried a couple of shea moisture deep conditioners, they left my hair really frizzy, and I thought that deep conditioning just didn't work for me. Um, I also used the Curl Junkie um, repair, sorry, not repair me, curl junkie, curl rehab for like, you know, in the shower. I put it on as my deep conditioning treatment in the shower just while I bathed and shaped and did all my shower stuff. And then I rinsed it out and my hair was not happy. It was like I didn't do anything. So what I learned for my hair is that since it is low porosity, which means that the, the scales of my hair shaft are really tightly closed, which means my hair is healthy and that's a good thing. Um, it makes it a little bit harder to deep condition because you need heat to open that hair shaft so that you can get water, which is really what you want, into your hair shaft. It's the other emollients and things in your conditioners that help to seal that inside your hair shaft. And that's really what deep conditioning is doing. So for me, leaving it on a short amount of time did not work. Um, using products with too much shea butter and other ingredients, I don't know, whatever else, did not work for me. But I have found something that does, and so I stick with it, and leaving it on for an hour works for me. I'm hoping that this will decrease my time. So we shall see, fingers crossed. All right, the timer has gone off, so I am actually going to hop back into the shower and rinse this out. And the reason I get back in the shower is because I wanna rinse my roots really good before I flip my head upside down, and I will use this same conditioner to do my squish to condition. Now, if I had added olive oil or um, honey to this conditioner this time, which sometimes I do, but today I didn't, um, I would co-wash that out because, I don't know, I just feel funny leaving olive oil and um, honey in my hair. So I'm going to hop in the shower and rinse my roots really good and then flip my head upside down and squish chicken dish, and then we'll move on with applying styling products. Yay! Okay, this thing works. It works. Um, and how do I know? Because if I do a deep conditioning treatment and I don't leave it on long enough, my hair is frizzy. And today, it's not. It's smooth, I've got nice curls, it feels soft, I know it's been well conditioned. So I'm really impressed with the Hothead from Thermal Hair Care. You can order one of these on their website, it's thermalhaircare.com, and by the way, I am not, I have bought all of these products. Like everything I talk about on my site, my YouTube videos, I have bought all of them myself. So I am not endorsed by this. This is just my review of this product, but I do really think that this one is totally worth the money. I think they're, 30 bucks is how much this cost me. So this was definitely an upgrade from my Santa Claus cap that you guys may have seen me wearing in other videos or on my Instagram channel. Hey, I had it. I didn't care if it got wet. It was fine. So um, I love this. I feel like I got great results during my, um, during my deep conditioning treatment today. And if you have questions about this, let me know. Um, one thing I also wanted to mention too is that it is quilted, as you could probably see. So those beads those buckwheat seeds are not gonna end up just down in the bottom. They're really nicely, evenly distributed. So it's a really well-made product and it felt great. It sped things up for me. It did the job I needed it to do. So I am impressed and I will be using it every time I deep condition. All right, if you guys have questions, let me know below, but I hope that you give this a try and if you do, let me know. Have a great curl day. See you soon, bye.